All right, this is how you install our swing link brake cam. We've skipped ahead here. First thing you do is unbolt the lever blade from the lever assembly. There are these two little bolts, small torques. Take them out, pop your lever out. Really quick, before you get into pressing the pin out, um, just take note of what order the spring is in. You can usually see a little spot where it's rubbed on there. That's how I keep track of it. Um, Want to make sure that that goes back in the same way. So the easiest way to do this is using an arbor press. This pin right here, that's what you're going to be pressing out. Drop that on there so it is well supported. And then you can use your pad screw actually to press out the pin. Now, one thing to keep an eye on is as you press this pin out, it's gonna try and flex the top of the brake lever down. So you just watch and you know it, it should slide out easily, but in the event that it starts to flex too much, just back off and see what's going on. All right, there's the, uh, the knurled pin that we just pressed out. Set that off to the side, so now just sliding out the cam. So the way this cam is assembled into the lever, there's the spring on one side, and then there's this plastic bushing in the middle. That plastic bushing has a lip on one side. So drop the plastic bushing into our cam. It usually flares out on one end, so it can kind of be a pain to get to go back in. There we go. And then, so like I was saying, this is the part where you want to keep track of where the spring went. So Hold the spring on there. This is the orientation it goes in. Slide it into place so that the hole lines up. Keep in mind that little guy has to go in the hole. So as you can see, that spring, like I was saying before, there's that spot where it's rubbed, it's up against that. Everything's in the correct order. So now for pressing this pin back in, the one thing you want to make sure you do is press it in from the side where that flat face of the bushing is. If you try and press it in from the other side, it's liable to actually hit the edge of the bushing and then essentially pull the bushing back through and damage it beyond repair. So you wanna press that pin in from this side right here. So this one you can just press straight down onto it. It's usually easier to hold this in place with needle nose pliers. It's going to try and fall over on me because I don't have them. We'll do it at the very edge of the, the press. Feels like it's not going in correctly. Don't force it, just pull it back out, figure out why it's not square, and go at it again. And straighten that back up a little bit. There we go. So see, now that it's square, presses through. Super easy. It's easy to overpress it like I just did there. So see that side sticks out just a hair, this side sticks out a little. So I'm just gonna throw that on the press and ever so gently even it out. So there you go. It should swing freely. The reach adjust drops in through that little hole. Spring is in the correct location. Now you're good to install it on your bike.